scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Are you learning? As a preacher, as an individual, there are many mindsets that you need to have. One of them, the chiefest, let me give you two. Can I give you two mindsets to inculcate this night? Number one, the mindset of honor. Number two, the mindset of gratitude. Write this down. With these two mindsets alone, I, I guarantee you by the integrity of scripture, you will be more superior than many people. The mindset of honor and the mindset of gratitude. You can use these two mindsets to recreate your world. I don't care what you currently meet it as. Write it down. Number one, the mindset of honor. Get my teaching, the law of honor. Honor is the discerning. Honor is the celebrating. And honor is the rewarding of individuals for their distinctive difference and the value that they bring. When I came up here, I took out time to honor our parents leaving their schedules and coming here to honor Cornell. This is the CEO of, of the whole of Basawa to honor all of these people. Now, you come and touch me. It's both God and them that will deal with you. God is doing his own from heaven. You know how the flood of Noah, heaven gave his rain. The earth too added his own. Whoever was in the middle. Are we together now? Honor. Many of you, God has allowed great people to pass by you. But simply because you do not have a mindset of honor, you take people for granted. You will go to the office of a man that you should never have gotten there except by the privilege of a relationship. And as soon as you get there, you will just sit down. What do you want? What do you have? You call it confidence and they are watching you. CCTV is speaking you. And as you are leaving, they say, let this guy never come around this secretariat again. Apostle, why is it that when good things are about to happen, they go away? Demons only take advantage of the mindset that is there and they build a stronghold around it. So you keep traveling from place to place and recycling the same mistake. Please listen. I'm, this is a deliverance service. God is showing someone the reason why doors never seem to open. Are we together? Try this. Look for the top five people. Who have contributed immensely in your life send them a text message and say thank you start with your parents mommy just to say thank you apostle you don't know my mother after insulting me and calling me a witch don't worry she was just angry are you really a witch who gave birth to the witch then don't worry your mother is not a witch you are not a witch those that is the purpose of maturity you should know that they were just mismanaging their anger but you send the text somebody helped you to pay your um, maybe school fees or something don't just send text when you are now looking for help Calvary greetings and then two minutes later another text is coming so just to let you know you know that the way this my life is I'm the firstborn that's not the issue are we together say amen, amen. practice honor and practice gratitude and watch just with these two mindsets Watch what happens to you. Honor to God, honor to men. I'm giving it to you as an assignment. This night, send a text to somebody. And don't send this kind of text message that looks like an insult. I was told to send you a text by apostle. Thanks. 
Is that gratitude? Is that honor? Some of you are like that. You can send 30 text messages begging. And then the person now gives you money. And after three hours, you just say thanks. You don't even spell it well. Thanks. Does that sound like gratitude? You see, the principle of the intention of gratitude is to make the giver perceive that you are grateful. It is your assignment to use every means, godly means within your power. Let me tell you the truth. You never will need to ask anything twice if you give thanks for the first one. Are we together? There are people who can be so, they, they can be so grateful, you feel indebted to them. Even when you forget them, God will remind you. Hallelujah. One day, I shared something for some little children. And after they had gone, I was busy doing something. And then one of them, one tiny girl just ran and came. And I just saw somebody hug me from behind. And I just turned, I said, who is this? And she asked me to bring my ears down. She said she was telling me thank you again. Ah, I wanted to see her parents first. Who would have trained this kind of girl? Eventually, I told them to get the parents and I said, whatever it would take for this girl to rise to be great, me, I'll handle it. Now, watch this. I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to tell you that a child just scheduled a season. It doesn't matter whether the parents are interested in being prosperous or not. The child has bailed herself out. Are you seeing that now? How many people have passed your life who you can edge the memory of your honor to them? And compel them to attend to your destiny mindsets is someone learning how many times do you go to the Lord and say thank you father thank you you are the lion of the tribe of Judah you are frowning the root of David and as if you are just entering his gates with Thanksgiving and now that you are inside the gates God come out to oh, I'm in your gates now I've been warning you this and that and that whereas there's somebody in the hospital stage 2 cancer and the person says, thank you, Lord, that I'm even alive. I'm not asking you for anything. I'm alive. And God says, you do not know the value of life and health. You are here harassing me and saying you are eating only rice every day. You need something more. Whereas someone is about dying and saying, Lord, thank you that you are keeping me alive. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. One more time, say, thank you, Jesus. Honor and gratitude. I thought, I think it was in Abuja. And let me teach you if you've not gotten it if you are in any kind of relationship and you don't have value your contribution should be gratitude write it down I teach you a powerful secret if there is any kind of relationship you are part of if you do not have what to offer in terms of value let your offering be gratitude perpetual gratitude and you have made an eternal contribution to that relationship hallelujah thank you thank you daddy i just want to say thank you thank you for my school fees thank you for everything uh -uh. what for i stopped paying your school fees 15 years ago i just took out time to reflect on your kindness they may just laugh somebody who is your employer i just came to say thank you sir whereas other people are insulting him this man is a wizard his wife is a witch wicked man he's the only one eating the money while we're working but he's the boss and it is his company and someone just walks up to say, sir, I just held this little bottle of wine. May not be much, but just to sincerely appreciate you. In my time here, I have learned and I'm committed to improvement. Usually, they will act like it did not enter them. You just go. When they are looking for those to promote, you will see the man fighting as if they charm him to retain you and to see that you rise. God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. Zaria, please hear me. It is not the lack of money. It is not the economic situation. It is something about your mindset. I have taught you that any door that opened before and now is closed, it is dishonor that has closed it. Never trivialize people's value. Are we together now? Yes. When you see elderly people, respect them and greet them and honor them. When you see great people, don't pretend greatness. Don't push them away and say, after all, they are just lucky. That is the mindset of a defeated person already. Are we together? As I am today, there are people that are eternally worthy of my respect and my, my honor. I will never see them and not honor them. 
When I came in here and I saw our father, I got up and we were laughing and I was greeting him. Apostle will not turn me into a stupid person. I want to live long, I want to live far, and life is a product of seed time and harvest. Are we together? There are some of you after the grace, they say, turn to somebody and just say, hello, for where? I'm on my way going home. And you find out that you are going home alone. Everything you are doing it alone. Nobody cares about you. Whether you are present or absent, you see, if your presence, if your absence is not missed, it means that your presence is not adding anything. Whether you come for koinonia or not, nobody knows. Doesn't matter. And you've been coming for, they will say, how many years have you been? Me? I'm six years old in koinonia. And nobody knows you. Are you in any department? I don't join departments. I just come and receive and I'm on my way going. Are you learning? Mindset. When I learned this principle, as simple as it sounds, it has opened, listen, second only to the law of encounter. This is the most powerful spiritual law that I've learned. The law of honor has come as a subset of this. I have indoctrinated myself to show honor and to communicate gratitude. These two things have opened me up to a world of possibilities beyond my wildest imagination. Thank you. Somebody said thank you for 50 naira and that thank you today has given him a house. Somebody said thank you for a shoe and that has given him all kinds of things. You must learn to be grateful, be lavish in communicating gratitude to men and to God and watch what begins to happen in your life. You become Beulah and Hefzibah. Don't just meet people and the first thing you are looking for needs. Give me, let me give you a secret as we wrap up. Anytime you see great people, minimize asking for things. Every man's need is his point of contact. I was teaching the leaders this morning. And if people do not need your money, they need your, your reassurance, your courtesy. So I just want to thank you so much. Do you know, you would think that I haven't taught this thing for many years. I would be immune to it myself. I'm not talking of flattery. There are people who see me and, ah, Apostle, I'm so grateful. Usually when I'm passing, maybe at the airport and people want to do all kinds of things, I'm greeting them and someone says, Apostle, your message has changed my life. I'm, I just want to say thank you. And I feel very endeared. Oh, may God bless you. Come. God bless you. God bless you. And you see a little child. How are you, little girl? God bless you. What are you doing, madam? Well, I'm trusting God for this. And that, can, that simple thing can become a, the schedule of a change of season. Thou son of David, he said, have mercy on me. He never called him Jesus. You are royalty from the root of David. Have mercy on me. And Jesus looks at him and says, I'm busy, but I will attend to you. Something about your communicating honor and desperation has called for my attention. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling me. Oh, God, my worship is calling me. Oh, my gratitude is all in me. Oh when I finish meetings like this and I go home, you would think I would just go and balance. I smuggle myself into the room and go down on my knees. And I say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Some may trust in horses and chariots, but you are the reason why we have these results, including this night, without fail. Lord, I thank you. Your child has come before you. They call me all kinds of names, but I know who I am before you. I have come to return thanks. You are the hand behind every result that we see. And God says, even at this level, you can do it for me. Let's measure a thousand cubits. You are ready for a new level. Some of you here may be business people, maybe ministry, maybe a career, and you find out that you have plateaued at a level. It may not be the absence of skill. It may be the absence of honor and the absence of gratitude. You can literally live off gratitude 
you can literally live of honor believe me you can spend your like they ask you what are you doing i'm working in first bank what are you doing i'm working in abu and they ask you what are you doing you say i'm a practitioner of honor and gratitude you literally can use it as a stream of income let the fire from your altar touch Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Have you learned something tonight? If you've not learned anything from all that I've said, just pay attention to this that I said, God first is the secret to an excelling life. God first, not God among, not God later, not God as part of, God first. Number two, that the quality of your mindset is what defines the possibilities in your life listen you will see doors open for you beyond your imagination if you can pay the price can i tell you you may not have a job use the time to read quality books that kingdom compliant books that build your mind apostle i'm trusting god for a husband i'm trusting god for a wife while you are trusting keep reading what works on your mindset because if this version of you marries you will kill the man be walking on that mindset in the name of Jesus anger you must leave in the name of Jesus wickedness you must leave in the name of Jesus evil talking talking like a parrot in 10 minutes you have read a whole book in somebody's ears let it be out of my destiny in the name of Jesus I am ready for a great life and God says now you see it is often said that when the student is truly ready the teacher always comes are we together I'm ready for prosperity, but I don't have money. I don't know anything about finances. Then learn honor and gratitude. Start from there. Learn honor and gratitude. Go online. Principles of honor. Listen to messages and start praying. Gratitude. Get five people in your life who have made sincere contributions and send them a text. Sir, ma, this is just to appreciate you. I had the opportunity to attend the service this night and I was challenged afresh again and I thought of communicating what I've learned thank you for all that you have been thank you for helping my children thank you for helping my husband or my wife this is simply saying thank you after two days you will get a text what is your name again I am so 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 and so see me in my office tomorrow and the person can say, I have been doing this for everyone, but nobody has done this. I showed my wife your text, and she said, let us help this person. And that's it. Look, it is so easy to rise when you understand the power of kingdom systems. Hallelujah. Are you learning? Some of you, even your biological parents, you have not shown them love. You have not shown them mercy you don't care after all they are your parents mama may not be able to speak english but she had to fry a cara to send you to school now that you have a job just counting fifty thousand and giving her is not gratitude that's responsibility gratitude is one day you draw the chair and sit down with her there and say mama i want to tell you something i know that you see that i'm a big man today but i want to say thank you it was your sacrifice you went through so much to make this happen and mama is just crying there and say my son you have become a big man i don't have what to give you but let me place my hand on my chest and let me bless you may your children rise to be greater than you you will just say amen but it is recorded and archived in heaven you give birth to your child and one wicked person wants to come and be friends to your children that covenant will speak drive them far from you because mama left a blessing hallelujah yes. forever for as long as i live i live a grateful life a grateful life when i came and got down out of the vehicle i was just nodding my head and walking i was almost in tears looking at the faithfulness of god the mercies of god 
many of you have forgotten what God has done in your life too soon because you are looking for something in front learn to be grateful carry that mindset learn to practice honor and you have scheduled a season of greatness let me recommend as an assignment go and listen to all my teachings on mindsets go and look for them go on YouTube look for them put it as a project sit down and listen don't assume don't say I was there have your life changed if the answer is no go and listen listen to it pray you can spend the day fasting and lock yourself Lord my destiny must change I am the one you are raising in this family to wipe the tears of people father I pray that you will use me as you the word of God is coming you are writing ah God is showing me what I'm doing wrong now the Sun will no more give you sunlight by day the moon will no more give you moonlight by night Jehovah will be your everlasting light he'll be your glory your strength and your sight the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun and the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright listen you know why i raised this song the power of illumination when your heart is sincere when you approach god with a meek heart you are ready for light it will be an adventure of light you will listen to a message you've been listening to every day but your heart condition is what defines the light that comes from that message to you there are people who have all kinds of messages oh this one i have it but that your heart is not yet prepared to receive the light so you will just listen to it attentively but you are not receiving anything go back with a punched heart and now listen and you will find light that will bring tears out of your eyes man of god hear me your destiny is waiting for you everyone here listening whether you are inside all the overflows and those who are following online make up your mind that this mindset thing i will work on it don't say i am yoruba don't say i am Igbo. Don't say I am Hausa. I was saying it to our Abuja family. He that comes from in the north is a northerner. He that comes from the south is a southerner. He that comes from the east is an easterner. He that comes from Europe is a European and American and so on and so forth. The Bible says, but he that cometh from above is above all. So beyond your earthly geographic context, you must start having the mind of Christ embrace the character the traits of discipline embrace the traits of diligence and most importantly honor and gratitude and you have found the power keys you don't need to know everything but the interesting thing is that the results begin to come even while you are growing hallelujah i'm going to pray for you but we'll all pray by ourselves and then I'll speak over your life and we're done for tonight. Remember our text, Joshua 1 verse 8. It says, And this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do. Joshua 1 and 8. You got it right? Go back. 1, 8, Joshua. It says, For then shalt thou make thy ways prosperous, and for God's sake, and even as a prophecy for everyone here, it says, thou shall have good success. The kind of success that God increases you on all sides. And while that is happening, the joy of salvation is bubbling within your heart. Your life becomes a conduit of impact. Not just accumulating money and accumulating relationships with no value. Are you seeing that now? Everything about your life becomes a blessing. Genesis 12 and verse 2 and 3. It says, In thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. That's what I want to happen to my life. My, my desire is not to be said, Oh, this person is anointed or has this and has that. No, no. 
that Jesus Christ was revealed through my life and that whilst revealing Jesus you were able to impact the lives of people someone will say apostle is because of you I had the privilege to go to school someone will say it's because of you I had the privilege to have a house a roof over my head I was when I saw the picture of the outreach yesterday that was done I was so humbled looking at these widows and looking at these people and that which happened to them and I was so inspired I said this is how to live this is how to live it's not about driving cars and eating whatever this is how to live it says oh teach us to number our days the Bible says that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom right where you are sitting I want you to lay your hands on your head and I want you to begin to cry before the Lord your maker pray from the depth of your heart thank you my precious people God bless you God bless you please begin to pray let it be from the depth of your heart God desires for you to grow. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Shabakata barakatos kadebalato. Shabrandeska barakos. Embrekate balakatos kafraska debeleta doshekate. Entas kata barata safrasa debelekate brandege balatosia. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands and declare, my destiny you must open up. Good success is my heritage in Christ. And in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that has enthroned itself above the knowledge of God in my life, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus, someone pray. Someone pray. Everything that has declined my prayer life, everything that has declined my word study life, everything that has declined my passion for the house of God, my passion for the things of God, I cry unto you, God of heaven, let there be a revival, let there be a refiring of my spiritual life tonight. Someone pray. Ah, 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 ah. That thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your might, with all your soul, with all your strength. If you don't love him with all, you don't love him. If you don't love him with all, you don't love him. If you don't love him with all, please pray. Don't be tired. You've been sitting for a while. Pray, pray. Take a few minutes to pray. We are discussing the matters of your destiny. Just a few minutes. Anoint my everything. You have my everything. I release my everything. 
You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. 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 Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me. Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. That nothing and no one will take your place in my life. That nothing and no one will rise above you in my life. That must be your determination tonight to dethrone every idol, the idols of men, the idols of things, the idols of achievements, that they all bow at the feet of Jesus Christ. He alone be exalted as Lord and Christ. And then you watch the wonder-working power of a victorious life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still laying your hands on your head. You are going to pray over your mind. Every stronghold, every demonic manipulation that is making me behave in a way that is driving success from me. Behaviors of dishonor, behaviors of carelessness, behaviors of indiscipline. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Every mindset, every stronghold locked up within my inside that is programming my actions, scheduling seasons of defeat, scheduling seasons of loneliness, scheduling seasons of pain, poverty, failure, in the name of Jesus, the Lord rebuke you. Open your mouth and pray. I rise above and beyond the grip of culture. I rise above and beyond the grip of my past. I rise above and beyond the grip of my associations. I rise above and beyond the grip of my sociological context. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus I pray. Can I give you one more prayer point? Every spirit and every covenant that has tied down those who went before me to produce a life of failure, I declare you are broken concerning me. Open your mouth and pray. Every foundation of poverty, every foundation of mediocrity, whether territorial, whether family, the Bible declares that it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder, the yoke from off your neck, and that it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Someone pray. Everything I saw my father suffer, everything I saw my mother suffer, everything I saw people from my region suffer by the blood of Jesus, I am exempted from it, exempted from begging, exempted from failure, exempted from poverty, exempted from living a wasted life exempted from mediocrity exempted from smallness hallelujah listen please look at me we're wrapping up 
as simple as these principles are I found them and they changed my life when we seem to look very super super human these are the forces that we stand upon that elevates us and sometimes makes us look as if we are such a big deal we are not any big deal in ourselves except that when you stand on these laws you tame life like an animal let me speak over your life oh only oh only la sadisi who comes Holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes. I pray for every closed destiny here that has refused to open up in the name of Jesus the son of the living God even the one who helps men I declare may that door of your destiny be opened now may that door of your destiny be opened now may that door of your destiny be opened now hear me no matter what has gone wrong before now I prophesy to you, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. My God is giving you a new beginning. My God is giving you a new beginning. My God is giving you a new beginning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for everyone under the sound of my voice who might be under any kind of situation that is weighing on you maybe a financial challenge maybe you are in debt you are owing or there's something wrong and it looks like shame and reproach is imminent every time you get into these kinds of trouble it is the office of the prophetic that brings you out i decree and declare everything that looks like shame i call upon the god of my covenant in the name of jesus let shame and reproach depart from your destiny depart from your destiny Depart from your destiny. Depart from your destiny. Depart from your destiny. Now I pray for you. Whatever has killed your prayer life, your word study life, maybe the challenges of life, maybe you stepped into wrong associations that have downplayed God and downplayed the things of God. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. finally we've spoken about good success let me pray for you the Bible says it was the Lord that advanced Aaron and Moses they did not just go forward they were advanced by God he says by you I can run through a troop by my God I can leap over a wall that a man can receive nothing even financially because I know that many of us here right now if I ask you to submit your prayer request about 70 to 80 percent of it will be largely financial issues god is able to help men to bring you out of financial shame let me speak over your life it will always come from god through men to you therefore in the name of jesus anyone crying for financial help that god will come and bail you out i declare in the name of jesus receive help receive help let help us arise for you in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray let me make an altar call now please no movement no movement whether inside or outside just be patient allow me make an altar call then i'll make a very important announcement about tomorrow and we're done you need jesus every time we talk about jesus there are people who do not care i hope tonight will be that night that you say jesus i'm truly ready you are here so many people inside all the overflows 
it is never too late for as long as you have breath in your nostrils to make it right with Jesus perhaps you were invited to come here or perhaps you have been here again and again but you have never consciously made that decision the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son it says that whosoever that blessing is for whosoever whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have life eternal verse 17 says for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him you are here and you mean it with Jesus you are saying apostle if you would give me a chance I would make it right with Jesus or you are here and you are saying apostle things from last year into this year my life has not really been the way it should be I have I have just fallen apart my life has gone haywire I need to put my life in order and make it right with Jesus I'm going to call these two categories of people if you are in the main auditorium here I'm going to request that you move forward we have a limited space here and then all those who are outside once the front is full you may make use of your various LEDs and for those who are following listening online it is not too late to make Jesus right to, to make things right with Jesus as far as your destiny is concerned I'm just looking for one person who can say apostle I'm not going to lie to myself I really need Jesus I'm going to count one to five whether you are inside or outside once the front is full here then you can come outside you can begin to come one celebrate them as they come Jesus the Son of God I believe in you I believe in you celebrate them as they come to Jesus Jesus the Son of God the son of God I believe in you let me tell you ladies and gentlemen it is a glorious thing to see people come to Jesus sincerely the Bible declares that as many who will come to him he says he will in no wise cast away these precious ones representing all those who are scattered across the overflows and following online perhaps someone is just following from your home and right there in your silence Jesus is speaking to you I salute all of you who have come out it is never too late to make it right with Jesus may I please request that by as a way of surrender you lift your right hand above your head and please say this after me say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight till forever I am a child of God amen keep your hands lifted father thank you the Bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in none wise cast away these precious ones have come declaring your Lordship by the authority of Scripture I declare their sins forgiven and in the name of Jesus, I call them bona fide recipients of eternal life. From tonight, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I declare by the authority of God's word that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. You walk in newness of life from tonight until forever you will spend your day serving Jesus. For in the mightiest name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly. I want you to please do me a favor just turn to your back you'll see the counselors waving their hands I'd like you to please follow them in concert they'll have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat let's honor them
Hello. Scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.